Ladies and gentlemen, it's Ali. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. Today's video is on Tattoo Chef. I know a lot of investors woke up today and the stock is down around 10% as I'm filming this video. I'm gonna keep this nice and concise and keep it nice and short for you as well. I know that you don't have a lot of time to browse through videos, so let's get right into the video. Now, I'm gonna go over all the important details and what happened over the weekend to cause this decline. Video will not go into detail about the overall market condition. Today, the NASDAQ, the S&P, and Dow Jones are all in the red. That's playing a part in why the stock is selling off as much as it is. I believe if today was a green day across the board, we probably wouldn't have seen the losses that we're seeing right now. But anyways, let's get right into point number one. First reason for the sell-off that we're seeing today was because the CEO and president, Salvatore Galetti, sold around $8 million worth of shares. Now, this did happen on April 15th, and this is really based off of the, an SEC filing that we got from the company. This is posted on their website, and I will be linking that down below so you can get a better look into the details. Now, he did sell this on April the 15th. We got the filing on April the 16th, so, so it was something that we found out over the weekend. Now, it mentioned that the CEO and president, Mr. Galetti, sold around 800,000 shares at a price of $10 per share for a total of $8 million. I'm also going to be linking the Form 4 of the SEC filing, which provides all of these details so you guys can have some valid information. We don't like to speculate here and we don't like to give opinions about things that are not real. All of this is based on information that was provided to us by the company. As you guys can imagine, an insider sale like this from the CEO and president is causing a lot of anxiety amongst the investors. Why would the CEO and president sell out a significant portion of his holdings in the company and not only sell out of his portion, but also why would he sell at $10 a share? This is obviously raising some concerns about valuations. Does the CEO and president think that the company is worth what it's worth? Why would he sell that amount for $10? The stock was trading at around $18, $19 a share. So it is something to consider. It is, as I mentioned, causing a lot of frustration amongst investors and people are starting to second guess their position with the company. It's obviously raising some concerns about earnings that's coming up soon. If the CEO sold at that price, maybe he's concerned about something that has to do with the earnings. Are we going to see some red flags? Are we going to see some concerns? No one really knows. But at the end of the day, the CEO did in fact sell a significant portion of shares on April the 15th. Now, point number two, this relates to the 8K form that was released from the SEC. And this has to do with a resignation of a member that was part of the company. This 8K SEC filing states the resignation of Mr. Cargyle. For those of you that are not familiar, Mr. Cargyle is the chief financial officer for the company, and he resigned on April the 15th. He has been replaced as of now, but the company did mention that his, his resignation had nothing to do with any of the company policies. Matter of fact, if we go through the filing right now, it actually clearly states that it had nothing to do with the policies or any friction within the company, as they mentioned right here. Mr. Cargyle's resignation is not the result of any disagreement with the company on any matter relating to the company's operations, policies, or procedures. So it's not like it's a political issue or something that's wrong with the company inherently. The resignation was abrupt and it is the same thing as point number one. It is causing some anxiety amongst investors. When you see a resignation of a, uh, a top position like that, it does cause a bit of concern. But keep in mind with growing companies, this really does happen pretty often. It's not new. It's very common to see a CFO uh, switch every now and then this this happens so i wouldn't necessarily say that this is a huge red flag but for a lot of investors they're obviously not completely comfortable with the move so just to recap very quickly point number one the ceo and president sold around eight million dollars worth of shares and for point number two we saw the chief financial officer resign on april the 15th both of these filings were released on april the 16th and the stock is reacting to that news today that's all, folks. I want to keep it nice and concise. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below, and I hope you guys have a great day. Take care.